one that was found. In regards to the title of this video, an honest month as a photographer is just ups and downs. It's never constant. You're on the upswing one day, you're on the downswing the next. And that's just kind of how it goes. Um, at the beginning of this month, I was in Mexico, so I was on the upswing. I was probably 100 out of 100 when it comes to creative happiness. And I shot some T-Max 100 on the Pentax. I shot some Portra 160 on the T-Max on the Pentax. And the T-Max photos turned out great. I loved them. Loved that film. And the Portra 160 photos you're not seeing right now because I accidentally deleted them all. And I threw away the negatives as well, which I hardly ever do. So it went from like a zero or a hundred to around an 80 in the happiness creatively after that. And then when we got back, I actually got sick, hadn't been sick in like five years, kind of forgot what that was like. It sucked. It was just a cold, but I was acting like it was cancer. I was acting like I was dying. That's just kind of how I do things or how every guy does things. I think that's just a guy thing, but um, so it went down a little bit more, but I took some photos indoors because it was rainy and it was cold and I just wanted to make some photos and I wanted to use four by five because I just wanted to practice a little bit. So I made this photo on HP five actually, and I like it. It's a decent photo. It kind of has this magical, whimsical, ethereal look. And I think that's just because of the format four by five. And using a little bit of movements to get each leaf in focus. Overall, it's not the best photo in the world. It's not the worst, but it was nice to just kind of go through that, that dance and that process. A day or so after that, I wanted to make some landscape photos because I, am, I don't think of myself as a landscape photographer, but I do enjoy taking some landscape photos. And the big reason for that is landscapes don't move. They're just going to be there until the end of time, until the world explodes or there's an earthquake and it disappears. But for the most part, the landscape's going to be there and you just have to find a right time to go and make the work. Whereas portraits, specifically the ones that I take, you have to find the car and uh, with my project, Articles of Virtue, it's about cars and their owners. So you have to find the car. You have to find a car that you haven't photographed that often. It has to be a little bit unique. The composition has to be decent. The lighting has to be decent. And then you have to do all that before you even knock on the door, before you even ask the person for a photograph, before they even say yes or no. So portraits kind of take a long time. And I do a lot of driving. I drive so much for that project. And when you're going around and nothing's quite adding up and you're not getting in a lot of work, it kind of puts you in a down downward mood. But with landscapes, it's there. It's kind of there for you to take it. But with these photos, these are around five minutes from my house and I just went there on a day that it was going to be a nice sunset. The light was good. And I took these on T-Max 100. Really like these. I love getting a high vantage point and looking down at something or um, being down and looking up at something. And these fit the bill quite nicely. Nothing super special about these. Liked the leading lines with the power lines. I liked how the houses were kind of over on the side. And just the overall dark tonality that I got with T-Max 100 was really nice. A couple days after that, I was just probably at the lowest point when it came to my photography as a whole from the very beginning of when I started in 2019. Um, and I'll tell you exactly what I wrote down in my notes app 
later on in this video, but I was talking to Emma and I was just telling her things that were going through my head when it comes to social media and YouTube and making work and just questioning myself and things like that. And I was really going through it and she talked to me. She was super lovely about it all, giving me advice, things like that. And I was pr probably at the lowest point, like a zero on the creative scale, the creative happiness scale. And I got this email immediately after that. It was like a sign from God. Um, I got an email from the New York Times asking me if I wanted to do an assignment. And of course I said yes. We were setting up a video call the next day. And then an hour later, I get another email saying that it fell through. So I was going through all these emotions and zero to 100, 100 to zero, things like that. And this is what kind of led me into writing exactly what I wrote down in my notes app. And I'm going to read that right now just to kind of give you an idea of what I was going through at the time. But I said, social media was the title. And I said, this has been on my mind recently, but social media is ruining my photography. What was once an amazing thing, free, discoverability, exposure, connections, etc., has turned into basing my worth off what strangers do or don't do, say or don't say. My entire photography life from 2019 has been judged on social media, so the people I should care about the least are the ones I care about the most. Literal people I have never met dictating how I feel about myself. This might be hard for someone to grasp if they haven't had their whole photography life broadcasted for others. I brought this on myself, I know, but it's still something that I struggle with. I thought the other day, and as much as it pains me to say, I haven't taken many photos that I haven't shared. Actually, I've probably taken none, which is embarrassing and hard for me to say, but probably haven't taken any photos that I haven't shared on some sort of social media. The phone, this guy, which was once this brilliant tool for getting things done quickly and easily with little stress, has turned into the thing that I despise the most. People's heads down, not looking at what's in front of them, something that could be gone in an instant. YouTube was a creative outlet for expression, and now it's turning into sponsorships, what sells and what doesn't, thumbnails, clickbait, and trying to stay true to yourself while also not wasting the viewer's time, and my own money by putting out shit that doesn't get any views. Tack on some jealousy about what others choose to do, and it's a ticking time bomb to burn out. Time bomb to burn out. This has been a long time coming, and I think it's a good step forward with at least realizing how much of a detriment this is, this is on my work as well as my psyche. This is not a cry for help or a plea of any sort. This is just a photographer, a person talking about what they're going through. I'm not sure if anyone else has been feeling this, but I just wanted to get it out there and in the open. It's a weight off my chest. I know you had a choice to continue watching this, so thanks for listening. I feel better already. I wrote that at 9.31 a.m. on February 21st, 2023. Literally at 10 a.m. I got that email from the New York Times, and that is just the way things go. It's you're feeling great about something one day, one hour, one minute, and then the next you're feeling bad about it. And I just wanted to make this video. I went through ver different variations, different talks about how I was going to do this, but um, this just feels the best way to get it out there. And I just want to be honest with you guys as usual and let you guys know that it's okay to feel that way. It's okay to feel down about your work. It's okay to take a break. You don't have to be on social media. You don't have to have a YouTube channel. You can share work with your family. You can share work with yourself. You can put it in a book and look at it yourself and not share it with anyone else. Um, when it comes to people like me who make videos and put it out there for others to watch. I know that you're probably thinking that 
people that have subscribers or people that have followers don't go through stuff like that, but they do. Everyone that I've talked to, I've talked to a bunch of photographers, people that have way more subscribers than me, followers than me, and they all go through the same stuff. It's just something that happens and nobody is too good or too bad for it. It just happens to everyone. And I just wanted to make this video because the last video I talked about a therapist and this video is kind of like my own therapy talking to you guys about it. So, um, just wanted to get it out there. And like I said, I do feel better already. Um, that was in the middle of the month when I wrote that and I've taken steps to kind of push past that and just focus on what's important. And we all know that it's not the work, it's not the gear, it's not the cameras, it's not how many subscribers you have, it's about feeling good, it's about doing what you want to do your own way, and you shouldn't let anyone get in the way of that, and the overall thing that you should be focused on is happiness for yourself and happiness for your work, because if you're not happy with it, it's going to suffer in every way, shape, and form. <sighs> so, with that said, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, very excited about the future of this channel and what I'm going to do for the rest of the year. I'm going to talk to a lot of interesting people, people that I look up to, and happy to have you guys along for the ride. But thank you for watching. Have a good one. And lastly, a thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. I've used Squarespace for three years now, and it's one of the best investments I've ever made. I am able to easily share my work with their customizable galleries, and I can sell prints easily and get paid with their simple-to-use online shop. I can also use their third-party extensions to even ship those prints if I feel so inclined. If you want to support the channel, as well as get a small discount, go to squarespace.com slash brianburks and use code brianburks for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank <laughs> you.